All right, well, hello. Um, welcome to our Gibson Hall tour today. Uh, my name is Joey Gaminden. I am the coordinator for residence education over Gibson along with Founders Hall. Um, basically what that means is uh, I supervise the RAs, um, advise our lead hogs. Um, I live and work within the residence halls, um, put on programs to the students and uh, uh, do student conduct as well. Um, so right here is gonna be our Gibson Hall that we're gonna be showing a tour of uh, for y'all today. Um, and we're gonna show you what kind of what surrounds the Gibson Hall as well on the outside. So we can start that way first. So um, over there is Gregson Hall. Uh, that's another uh, on-campus dorm, it's upperclassmen. Um, that's actually where Gibson Hall residents will pick up their packages. Um, good thing to note. Good to anything to note. And I'll go into packages a little bit more about the hours. Um, right over there is gonna be Bruff. Uh, that is one of our three main dining halls on campus. Um, that students can use their meal plans at. Uh, right there, we have our Starbucks, we have a Quiznos, uh, we have Slim's Chicken, and um, uh, uh, what was that one place? Uh, where the Wild Greens is. So all those are just placed uh, right there, another uh, uh, location where students can use their meal plans and stuff like that as well. So we're like, we're like downtown University of Arkansas here. This yeah, is the this, central part. This is the central side of campus and it's really convenient location. We have a couple academic buildings over here as well. Um, we have Kimple Hall, which is our communication building. We have another one that's our business hall, which is right next door. Um, we also have Dixon right, right down the road. Right. What's what's Dixon for those who don't know? Yeah, so Dixon is kind of the nightlife for uh, the university in the Fayetteville area. Um, it has a lot of great restaurants and locations and stuff for our students to like to hang out and stuff like that at. Um, it's got a lot of great, great food options. Definitely recommend Hanneman Trees. Uh, Hanneman Trees is one of my favorite places to eat at. So it's grilled cheese, grilled cheese grilled sandwiches. Cheese. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and then I don't know if you can see it, but right down there is also where a Greek theater your Greek theater is at. Um, typically every year we have our um, uh, bid day celebrations there. It's, it's also during the year a nice place for students to go to and just chill at the amphitheater and uh, need a uh, space to themselves and stuff like that. It's really nice and quiet over there. Nice. Well, Joe, we have about 12 people tuning in. You can awesome. wave to them if you don't mind and let us know where you're, call where you're uh, watching us from because we always like to know and yeah. call that out. And so we're going to be walking into Gibson Hall right now. How big is Gibson Hall? Yeah, so Gibson Hall, uh, we have about 90, uh, 96 residents live in the hall, um, and it's three, uh, three stories. Okay, okay, great. So when you get into the building, the first door you're going to be able to enter in, and then the second door, you're going to have to use your fob. Um, we'll give you a fob when you uh, 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 check in during moving. Um, basically what the fob will do is just a security measure. Um, you'll need to put, uh, put it right now there, and then it'll read it and you can, it'll open the door for you. Um, and so that way the only people who can get access into Gibson is those residents that live in Gibson Hall. So we have Charlotte from Central Texas, Emily from St. Louis, and then Barbara is watching from New York. Awesome. Well, All around. you all here watching us. So let us know if you have any questions while we're doing the tour. So over here is going to be where our front desk is located. Uh, we usually have a uh, RA or student worker working the desk. So that way, if you have any questions or need to check out any supplies, uh, you can come to the front desk and they can help you out with that. Uh, due to COVID, we will have a limited of supplies that you all can check out. Uh, but as the year, uh, hopefully in the spring, you can check out all the items that we have, uh, which is the like, games, we have kitchen supplies, all sorts of stuff. Um, and uh, what are the, do you happen to know the hours of the front desk, did you yeah. say? So the front desk um, will be open in G uh, Gibson Hall from 4 to 10 p.m. on weekdays and then uh, uh, noon to midnight or 10 on the weekends. Great, thanks. Yeah, and so over here um, is gonna be where y'all can pick up their mail. Uh, so all like packages and everything will go to Gregson, um, in which you can pick up your packages in Gregson from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Monday through um, uh, uh, Wednesday, and then from eight to four on um, uh, Thursdays and Fridays. Um, and then over here, like I said, you can pick up any mail. So if you have any like just typical mail uh, uh, envelopes and stuff like that, you can pick it up through your front desk. Okay, great. Packages in Gregson, but mail here. Correct. Yes. Um, over here is going to be our laundry room. So there is going to be three washers and four dryers. We also have an ice machine in here, and we also have two vending machines. 
And so um, this will be the only um, uh, washer uh, and dryer location along with a vending machines location in the building. Cool. Did you get a lot of stuff out of the vending machine? Uh, I tried to limit myself. Uh, uh, snacks. Can, uh, do you go sweet or savory when you're I getting something? I go sweet, though, when I do. I use the vending machines a lot when I was an undergrad. I try to get a little bit better since then. Gotcha, gotcha. So, um, and then we do have three uh, uh, bathrooms on each hall. We'll show that to you when we go to the second floor. Uh, but each uh, hall has three bathrooms located in community style, um, along with a water fountain down the hallways and yeah so you want to go upstairs and check out let's everything? go upstairs cool. you know one of the things joy that always uh, occurs to me when i come into this particular hall is you know it just feels historic oh, like yeah. there's an element of this has been around a long time yes just from yes. the architecture and everything this is originally razorback hall razorback hall we even have a razorback located on the top of the building right when you walk in as well but yes it used to be uh, called razorback hall and we named it uh gibson after a former university of arkansas housing director Nice. Um, one thing to note behind you right there uh, is where recycling is at. Um, so if you need to recycle any aluminum cans, newspapers, mixed magazines, plastics, do not have trash chutes like some of the other halls do have in the floors. So if you do have any trash, we'll have a dumpster located right outside of the building. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go to the second floor. And you know, it's a smaller community too, and you get that sense of, I don't know, intimate community with only about 100 people in yeah. the hall. This, this hall really does have a great community every single year. I think the girls in, in this hall really uh, do a great job of interacting with each other. We have a handful of band students in this hall just because of the location of it is a good spot for them. Uh, so it's really great. And you have upperclassmen and freshmen living in the building, which can create some great opportunities for mentorship as well because they've already kind of go through those classes and lived here, so. Yeah. Absolutely, it's a really good point you make. Yeah, so you want to show, let's do the lounge first. So, um, for our lounge, we have one lounge on each floor. Uh, the second floor has our kitchen area. Uh, so we have a sink, we have an oven, uh, refrigerator, a microwave, um, and that's all located in the second floor lounge. And um, but like I said, each floor will have a lounge. This will just be the only kitchen area. The rest will just have more study spaces uh, and area for the students to hang out in. Yeah, can we open up that window by any chance? I'll open it up with the, the blinds and just get a side I love that nook. Yes. It's like a reading nook kind of thing. It really is. Oh, we may not be able to. I don't know. It's live, there live. We go. Here we go. Yeah. Like you could totally sit here and just read a book. A hundred percent. Or a Kindle or whatever your orientation yeah. may be. So yeah, a lot of the students will like to uh, hang out and use the common spaces, just hang out with some of the fellow students on the floors. Yeah. So over here, let's see, you said 226. We're going to do a bathroom? Yeah, we'll do bathroom first. Because people, people want to know what kind of shower they're going to be in. Yeah, of course. So, like I said, there's three bathroom, uh, community bathrooms per floor. There's uh, one at each end of the hallway, and there's one in the middle. Um, and so the bathrooms will come with two sinks. Um, you'll have two shower stalls and three uh, toilet stalls. And so you can ch ch check out the shower uh, situation. Sure. Uh, you have your own, like, the, the showers will have its own door attached so it's a little more privacy uh, you can lock it for um, vacant or private uh, use that's like a true hardwood door too yes yeah. it is. so there's a good room for them um, um, for the showers and everything and then we will go check out the um, uh, the bedrooms next Checking out one of the bedrooms. And then this is a great time to ask us if you want us to measure anything for you. Yes. If you're watching, because we're happy so, to do so. We'll have um, uh, my graduate assistant, Camilla, helping us out with any measurements and stuff. So, Well, hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome to Gibson. Um, I am Camilla, and I am the graduate assistant. And we are very excited to see you this fall. 
Fantastic. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and give a pan of the room and then we'll see if any dimensions come in. How about that? Yeah, perfect. And there we are back to you again. <laughs> hey. You want to show us the closet? That's yes, great. I want to show you guys the closet. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of room for everyone to put all their belongings. And Joey, can you open up the one above it by any chance? I see that that's like extra closet. Yeah, closet so bonus. A lot of some of the students will use this for a little bit of like um, maybe you want to store your uh, seasonal clothing, maybe your winter clothing when you get here and you don't want to go grab it all back from home or something like that. So it's good about a space if you want to put any boxes or anything like that up there. Um, I would just bring a st step stool if you can, uh, if you need to. Great, great, yeah. Um, well, we haven't got any questions. Oh, we did get a, a question from Charlotte. How long is the top shelf in the closet? I need to help her out with that. Yeah, I'll help her out. When you say how like long uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep, how long? Okay. Go ahead and get depth too, down. but long, length would be good. Button, so that means it will stay. There we go. So you should be able to just pull it out and see. You got it? What's yep. the length? It says 48. 48 inches, okay. Let's go ahead and get the depth too, just to. There you go. Twelve inches. Okay, and Julie asked, "How much space is above the above the dresser?" Um, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Um, Thirty-four. Thirty-four is the length, but then you hit kind of. Um, some angles up there. Yeah. Like 22. 22 depth. And then, do you mind giving the height from the lowest point to the highest point? Can you reach that if you want? Like that. Oh. You want that or do you want No, uh, from the built in cabinet to the roof. And I can actually see it almost right there. Like here from here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You want to bring it inside, yeah. yeah. There you go. 17. Yeah. 17 inches in that dimension. But as you can see, there's this, this molding here that you want to be aware of. Okay. Yeah. We're happy to answer that, Julie. Let's see. Let's go ahead and measure the uh, mattress sizes. And then if we don't get too many more questions, we'll say, hey, welcome to Gibson. Seventy-eight inches, which is what I think is online, should be thirty-six in that dimension. Yep. 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 Thirty-six. Okay. And can you go um, over and just check the other one? I think it's the same, but yeah, yes. always good to good to double check our own little audit here. Yep. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight, both sides. Okay. Okay, we got the question from Emily. How tall is the underbed space when it's at this height? Which I want to say is uh, either the lowest or one of the lowest. Um, I think mean, technically if you go lower, I would recommend it. But, yeah. Um, you can probably, if you're going from right here. Yeah. And that's something, another thing is if you know you want your bed locked in the highest peg, um, that's something you can request um, through your housing website and go through uh, uh, a work order slash fix it um, uh, part of the site. Yeah. And you can have it bed loft at the highest leg uh, uh, before you even get here. Um, so that might be helpful during moving if you know you want your bed higher. 
turn in what's called a fix it request or a maintenance request. If you go to our housing website, you'll see an area called services. And under services, you'll find fix it. Just turn it in and let us know. Um, there's another room that we looked at that had really had them up really, really high, I think, on the yeah. corner. Before we sign off, we'll go take a look, quick look at that. And you can yeah. just see what the other's like. Um, it is about 18 inches. About 18 inches. Okay. Um, Julie asks, um, also, how wide and deep is the vanity? And when I say, when we say vanity, I'm thinking the thing with the mirror, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think she was just asking for width and depth. So yeah, just like the tabletop. 25. 25 is the depth. Thirty-two is the width of that. Yeah, thanks for that question. All right. Well, what, yeah, why don't we go take a look at that larger, um, that other way of uh, putting the uh, bed lofted, and then we'll just sign out from over there. It's also a chance to see the rooms on the end, which are just slightly different. Are you talking about the one that was all the way down there? Um, I think one of these would work fine too, but then hang a right. If my memory serves. Yeah, this one. Talking about that? No, uh, down here where the. Uh, oh, I think you're. Yeah, I think it was down that way, but. We'll oh, was it? Check. Okay. I, yeah, we'll just double check. Okay. That's fine. Just gives us all more time to spend together. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just find one that's uh, lofted. Thanks for doing that. Can we peek into 207? Sure. Is 207 right around here? Right here. Okay. Here you are, Emily. 207. We'll take a quick spin for her. Well, and there you go, Emily, 207, your room. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, I thought I saw some that were really high. Yeah, we can check that one. I think I maybe talk about. There's one that's really high, too, though. So we could use, we can just use this one. That'd be yeah. fine. Yeah, our pleasure, Emily. No worries. This is kind of a smaller hall, so you get to be, you know, you got more time for stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to show this as an example of, Fully lofted or very close to fully lofted. And I mean, you could fit just about anything. In there. Yeah, you can fit your, uh, your, your desk and the um, side part of the desk as well underneath there. So like I said, if that's something you'd like to do and that's something you want to worry about when you move in, just get a housing and fix it and we'll, we'll do it for you before you get here. Uh, my recommendation is you just do it. If you, you, you know you want to, go ahead and do it as soon as you can. Um, give our maintenance team enough time to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, how far away are we from moving? Like a week and a half? A yeah, weeks? I think the 11th is the first day for moving. So we're, we're getting there. Um, oh, one another neat little feature that uh, is unique to this mm -hmm. hall is you guys get a little ceiling fan um, inside the uh, Gibson Hall and each of the bedrooms. So that's really nice. Something I wish I had when I was a, a, an undergrad in my dorm. So, um, but yeah, uh, we're getting down there for moving and we're excited to have you all come on to campus and um, make it as best of the year, uh, make it an amazing year for y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we did have one last question. So this will be our last question that we take. Um, Emily asked, what does a single room look like? Do we have any single we rooms? Um, we can show you an RA room that's right next door, which is a, a single room. And we have a couple of single rooms throughout the hall. Okay. So. okay. We have one available, then that'd be great. And I believe our single rooms here do they have two sets of furniture or only one set of, Just furniture? One set of furniture? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is the life. And so they do get extra closets and stuff. Um, so they do get this extra closet, but the rest of it is just single. So they got a lot more space. And so this is one of the RA rooms, um, but which is still pretty much the same to the, the singles on the floor.
So everything like before, except no bed, no second bed. No, yeah, no second extra furniture, yeah. Okay, well, great. Well, again, you were telling us it's going to be a great year and, and yeah. we're excited to make it happen. Um, is there one thing you might say to the students who are incoming this year that they should definitely do or uh, keep just, in mind? Yeah, just get to know uh, the, some of the residents on your floor. Get to know your RA. They're going to help you make it a, a, a great year. Um, and, you know, just, you know, keep an open mind during this year. It's going to be different. Uh, so just keep an open mind and uh, uh, we'll make it the best experience as we can. Yeah. Thank, thanks, Joey. I appreciate it. You want to wave us out? I'll see you all in a couple of weeks.